important, right? Why? Why is one person so important and so powerful? Oh, you might say that he gives us power from the Constitution. My answer? So what? Why is a tattered piece of treated sheepskin that was written in 1787 give anyone any power in 2014? Why would that matter? It doesn't give someone divine power. How could it? It's a piece of paper. I mean, come on. When something goes wrong, we always turn to the president. Why? Why can't people turn to me? Or you? Or that guy across the street named Larry? Because he is the fighter for freedom. He is trusted with our rights, our free will, our liberty. And the difference between the president and me, a nation like what he wore, like what he said, and more importantly, the nation liked him for who he was and what he did. They said they put yes on their ballots and a majority said yes. 82.5 million people voted. That makes me and you and Larry practically nothing, right? We're just this tiny speck in the of Wrong. My vote may be small, but although small, we, the people, got elected that high office. This is going to sound crazy, but I have as much power and influence as the president does. How? By my actions and by with every trying with every fiber of my being. I can be that same person with a ridiculous and ludicrous amount of power and influence that he does. By giving it my all, if not every single fiber of my being. Now I'm going to show you a quick video of Charlie Wilson's work. That demonstrates my point. Let's say that you're a grain of sand. Your goal is to destroy this person's house. First off, there's the top, the bottom, and the middle. The top and the bottom, I mean, the bottom and the middle suck. They do. I mean, it's hard for an inanimate object, such as a piece of grain, a grain of sand, to move without an external force like wind or earthquakes. But, on the bottom, not only do you have to move yourself, you have to move everyone on top of you in order just to move. And those people just don't want to move. They're happy with gravity holding them down. They don't want to move. Change is inevitably not going to happen here. 
They are perfectly fine right there. Uh, let's see there. Sorry. Um, but just because you're at the bottom and the middle, you're not pointless. Actually, you're the most important person there. If you get the sheer power and sheer courage and strength to move, you're not only moving yourself, you're moving tons of pieces of sand with you. And sure, the top gets things for basically for free, like wind, so that they can just break a few planes of glass, which is the last slide. So, um, but when the top move, they have no one following them. They're really lonely. They can do nothing up there. They're just by themselves and floating around. Whereas if the bottom starts moving, that's how a something earthquake happens. I'm going to tell you something that might come as a bit of a shock. Life is dictated by, uh, by how much you give, not how much you get. And it's all published by one person. That's a single grain of sand in the presence of billions on the beach. Because that one cog in the clock is just between a machine working or being absolute junk. Being a leader and being a servant. If you want to change school spirit, all you have to do is try your best and give it your all. People will start following it, and people like that and follow that. And before you know it, that little speck of snow, snow will start falling. And before you know it, others will follow you. And that is how an avalanche happens. Oh, uh, so yes, by my one vote, as insig insignificant as it seems, has so much power and so much influence that it can change the course of history. So yes, that little, uh, little speck, the little tiny fragment of rock, and that little rusted old small cog makes, makes the difference. 